Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Saturday, July 21st, about 3.25 in the afternoon. It's about 87 degrees right now, with a slight breeze, maybe about a eh, mile or two. But it's really nice. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful weather. It's definitely beach weather. I think it's probably about maybe 8 degrees cooler. Um, out there on the beach almost 10 degrees cooler maybe I'm actually I'm headed to uh, Colorado Bridge thought I'd show you folks this is a uh, Rusnak this is where you can get all your high-end cars they have beautiful beautiful cars you can get Audis Porsches Rolls Royce Bentleys this is their Audi dealership and if you can see up there you could also get Rusneck Bentleys. Wow, look at that one. Oh, it's, I know, it's kind of hard to see from the reflection. But you can get your Bentleys here. You can get your Karma. Oh, I wish you guys could see. The reflection is pretty, pretty bad. Wow, that is a beauty. Okay, I'm trying to hide it with my shadow. That is a karma right there. That is a sexy car. And here you could also get your Rolls Royce. This is the sporty coupe. They also have the big four-door sedans. There's a convertible coupe right there. Oh, so yeah, you can, it's kind of, yeah, it's really terrible to see. I'm trying to shadow with my, with my shadow. They got the four-door sedans, and then they got the big one. They got, a, they got the big, big ghost over there. And then they, you have your little little Corvettes. Let's see, you can get everything here. Audi, Porsche, Maserati, Alfa Romero, Jaguar, Karma, Bentley, Rolls Royce, and the list goes on and on. So if you're ever in Pasadena and you're feeling a little like a little sassy lassie, <laughs> you could always you could always come over here and, uh, you know, drop your, drop your money and buy a luxury sedan or a sports car or whatever. They got some beautiful cars. I wish you could, uh, I wish you could see them. They have beautiful, beautiful cars here. I mean, this is, this is a place, this is definitely the place to be. That's the Porsche. So we went from the Audi to the Bentley to the Rolls Royce and the Porsche. Now comes the Jaguar part of the store. So there's the Jaguar SUVs, the sports, the coupes. Jaguar! And you know, it just goes on and on. Yeah, see, this used to be the old, see that? That's right, That's this used to be the old Nash motor car company. And then you got your little mini, mini Coopers, the Clubman. Those are kind of cool. I wouldn't mind owning one of those, just to fart around. Like I said, it's a very, very beautiful day. And we're coming up over here at the Norton Simon Museum. So this is the world famous Norton Simon Museum of Arts. Now, for those of you that are in my age bracket, do you guys remember the commercials from the 70s with Candace Bergman? Visit the Norton Simon Museum of Arts. 
Bodega, Goya, Picasso, Rembrandt. Well, they're, they're all here and they all make their tours here. They have a lot of, uh, this place is always busy for, uh, for like an, around New Year's because uh, they do a lot of tours here for the uh, Rose Parade. And this, my friends, this is where they, uh, the Norton Sami Museum, if you ever pay attention and watch the Rose Parade, <coughs> excuse me, they have, they hang a big rose wreath in front of the museum. But this is a very beautiful museum. I've been in here a couple times. And it's just absolutely spectacular. And all this right here, this is where the stands are. They put up the stands for all the TV stations. This is right here where the, the judges, right about here is where the, the judges stands are, where they judge the performance. I mean, it's the big, big thing because right over here is the famous turn transcending from Orange Grove down to Colorado. And right there, ah, oh, that's Kelsworth. This is where they hang the big rose right here. Sorry about the clanging, that's my little pack of batteries for my camera and my, my, my mouse. Okay, so this is a famous turn. Down over yonder is where all the floats, all the equestrians, all the band members line up. This right here is Orange Grove Boulevard. So the cutoff is right here, and they all start to make their come, uh, if you remember from watching the past parades, this is the famous turn where they come over here. And, um, KTLA, which is famous for always showing the parade, um, they're always right here on right on the corner, adjacent. And down that way is the entrance to Colorado Bridge, also known as Suicide Bridge. All right, so now we're on Orange Grove Boulevard. This is where the a lot of homes are. A lot of homes over here on this side of the street. Uh, a lot of expensive homes. And all along on the right hand side, southbound, are all these um, fabulous and fantastic and funky apartments that have also been kind of converted into townhomes and into um, condos and luxury apartments. These are the kind of uh, apartments that are circa 1960s, 1970s, that have that certain flair about them, that has that Brady Bunch appeal to them. They're all along that way. Now remember when I was telling you folks and I was showing you in one of the other videos uh, about how they're building these terraces and these villas uh, on Orange Grove that are like starting off at $2 million. Um, and 10% of like, like every new development, 10% of new housing has to be allocated for low income uh, housing and stuff. Well, those are the ones all right down over there. Those are the ones that start off at two and a half million dollars. So affordable housing, Starting at huh, 450, 500,000 plus. Yeah, good luck in getting a voucher. Anyhow, let's not go that way. But it is beautiful down uh, headed south. It's a very nice drive. It's very beautiful. Uh, if you're lucky enough to afford one of these, ah, uh, my best guesstimate uh, starting rent on these things. Uh, 14 to 1600 uh, is your best guess, so yeah. 
Oh yeah. It's it's no problem. All 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 a homeless person has to do is get a job and you know their homelessness is solved. Yeah, you just move right into one of these places. No problem, sure. Problem solved. All right, so whereas I wasn't able to make it this year, this is the way we usually come to go to the Colorado Bridge. This is a war memorial. And here we have another one. This is for the founders, the founding fathers. This is a, a nice little kind of park. It's very beautiful right here. It's very nice. And here, this was put up maybe, I want to say maybe two years ago, a war memorial. This is Enduring Heroes, Courage, Honor, Sacrifice, Securing, Liberty, and Freedom for Future Generations. see it very well. The lighting is not all that good here. But this is a very, very beautiful statue. You know, Pasadena is actually filled with a lot of uh, memorial statues, war memorial statues. See, and this, this park is Defenders Parkway. Dedicated by the mothers of the defenders of the flag, soldiers, sailors, marines, whose gallantly responded to our country's call 1917, 1776, 1861, 1898. Same, put a little flag here. There's a little rose. It's very beautiful right here. I don't know why I don't get over here very often. Well, I know why because it was so far away, but actually, this is like only a mile away, not even a mile away from me now. It's so much more closer. But this is the path we continue to go on. These are also beautiful townhomes and uh, condos and luxury apartments. I mean, when I say luxury, I mean, I mean, cha-ching, but it's very beautiful here. Um, if you ever get a chance to come to Pasadena, I would recommend maybe taking a drive through here. You would be amazed of, well, this is where all the money is too. So aside from where I took you folks the other day from uh, the Gamble House, yeah, this is where a lot of the money is. So here we come upon the famed Colorado Bridge, also known as Suicide Bridge. Uh, last week, every year, I think once or twice, I, I want to say at least once, most definitely, they close off the bridge from here all the way to the other uh, span. And there's a party. They have bands, they have food, they have all sorts of stuff. And here we have Colorado Bridge. Because right here you can see where people are coming. Yeah, but you can't see the perfect. This is this is actually a beautiful, beautiful bridge. And I think within the last three, four years. We've had maybe about four suicides. I think one survived. I'm not, I'm not sure. But in the last two years, 
they put up these fences on the divot sections of the bridge because this is where people climb up. Can you see this? This is to help prevent people from, see, people would climb up. I don't know if you can see very well because it's so kind of bright. It's just kind of like a little alcove and people climb up over here and then they climb up over this little two and a half, three foot railing and plummet to their death, literally. Here's another little piece of trivia. See that great big beautiful building right there? That is the Los Angeles County Federal Court. This is where all the, uh, all the big cases come. Nobody knows about it really too much. It's kind of Pasadena's hidden secret. But uh, this, is, this is the federal court. And also, about maybe three and a half, four years ago, they also built these condos and townhomes. Very, very beautiful, but also very, very expensive. A two-lane highway, very narrow, but it's very, it's nice, and it's actually... Um, you can go down to the bottom and photograph it from the bottom on up. And this bridge is just spectacular, especially at night when it's lit up with all the street lighting and everything. It's just absolutely beautiful. And here, they're building, um, see, see over there, those are, um, <laughs> Those are homes, those are low income homes that are being built by HUD. The housing urban development, they're being built there by, they're, I think they're sponsored by some ladies group, I don't remember, but yeah, those are, uh, that's, that's affordable housing, believe it or not. So during 4th of July, this street gets closed off and everybody lines up. Now we're looking to the north and it's kind of hard to see, but way up over yonder is the Rose Bowl and people line up from all the way down to that end. Down this street right here, it gets filled up and we all watch the fireworks and you can see them shooting off and it's very very spectacular it's 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 a lot of fun but you definitely have to get here early so you can get um, a good positioning you can jockey yourself really good up against the, the railing and stuff because if not if you're from like this position over here and you're kind of a shorty like I am it's gonna be kind of difficult to see but yeah this is uh this is the famed Colorado Bridge there's some more Spectacular homes. Those have been there for a while. Pretty cool, huh? It's it's kind of tragic when something as beautiful as this piece of architecture, this bridge, has a shaded past for people, being known for people to take their own lives. It, it's, it's pretty sad. And here's another thing too, someone, they said, someone said, tweeted about this, that they're going to start putting love locks. This is one of the first love locks. You know what love locks are, don't you? Kind of cool. Memorial ribbons. Going down, going down that way is to the west. Once you cross over there, you're in uh, LA County and you keep proceeding down that way. Then you hit Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock's nice. Eagle Rock is, uh, well, it's kind of gentrified now, but it's still a nice little, little city. 
very versatile. It used to be mainly a lot of uh, Latinos, Hispanics, but it has like so many of these uh, little cities and towns. It's it's become gentrified. Gentrified or not, I'd still move there. Just cause, just because the atmosphere is nice. Beautiful homes. Maybe next time I'll go further down uh, Orange Grove and I'll show you the uh, the Rose House where the uh, the Rose Parade Queen gets crowned and she has her whole court there and everything. But this is cute, right? Even though I'll probably never see the light of day on the inside of one of these homes or be able to afford one of these unless I hit it big and rich in Vegas or the lottery. Even then, honestly, I wouldn't want to live here. Kind of snobbish. And I don't mean that in a, me in a bad way or a mean way. It's just, you know, it is what it is. All right, so now we're on Orange Grove in Colorado. That bus is turning south on Orange Grove. We're looking northerly on Orange Grove. And this is a direction to my house. My house, my place, where I live. Yay, where I live. This is a pretty bu busy intersection. So this is the entrance to the 134. The exchange to the 210 is over here. And then the 134 commences over here. That way to the left, stay on the left, you go on the Colorado Bridge. Veer to the right, you get on the 134. The true name of Colorado Bridge. And this is the 134, headed west into Eagle Rock. That's headed east, going away. And the 134, 210 exchange happens eh, but a few hundred feet down that way. And over here is headed towards the Gamble House. There's some beautiful craftsman homes over here too. There's some Victorian homes down on Holly Street over here going down that, that way down the road going, uh, going west down Holly Street. For some reason or another, I've always loved this house right here. This house right here in particular, right on the corner, I've always loved it. It's been remodeled, it's a Victorian home, but it's, I don't know, there's just something beautiful about it. I've always loved it. Look at these beautiful bougainvilleas. Look at this. Just the color is just, oh my God, it's magenta, fuchsia, brilliant. So this is the house right here. I like this house, it's very beautiful. Wanna buy a house? Contact Evelyn. Better save up your sparklets bottles full of pennies though. See, look at this. Is this cute or what? Ah. Uh, maybe someday. There's another beautiful craftsman home back there. Some more apartments. Gated community down there. Uh, not quite a craftsman house. And this is going, this is Orange Grove bending to the east. 
There's some more beautiful homes there. There's a craftsman right there. I love these kind of homes that have that uh, outside uh, stairwell to the upper floor. I always like that. A lot of homes like that in the Midwest too. I've always been fascinated by that. I always thought it was really grand. Here's some of these funky circa 1960 type of style condos. And that building right there is the Pasadena Historic Museum. Anything and everything you ever want to know about Pasadena's history uh, is right there. I've only been there once. Uh, I was trying to, I was trying to get there this year. I think about a month ago is when we celebrated Pasadena's birthday. I think I want to say 120 years, something like that. Don't quote me on that, please. I don't want to get my crap messed up. But yeah, it's it's really a nice museum. They have uh, the mayors there. Blah 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 blah. Um, they have a uh, cake cutting, uh, arts and crafts for the kids. It's like an all-day event. It's a lot of fun. It really is. This house too. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of in that um, Swiss chalet type of style. It's really cute. That's another thing that we have here. Is a lot of homes that have that Swiss chalet style. Here's another Jan. Here you go. Another beautiful craftsman. Kind of hard to see. There you go. Just something about craftsman homes, it, it just, honestly, it just turns me on. There's just beautiful homes. Cute little, uh, somewhat of a cobblestone walkway here. This is the, I call it, I call it the everything church. It's kind of like All Saints Church, in a sense. This is a Unitarian. This is the everything church. They love everybody. Doesn't matter what your sex is, what your beliefs are, what your sexual preference is. This church is all about everything. It's kind of nice. And you can see over here, more craftsman style homes. And so right here is where we end it, at the Gamble House. So you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day after. Yeah, that church is right next to the Gamble House. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on the ice. There's the address. Beautiful. Dr. Emmert Brown's home. So thank you guys for letting me share this little walk, this little tour. My time's almost up here. Before it breaks up into another half. That's another reason why I want to get the GoPro camera because at least I can do a lot more things with it. I can do like slow motion too, so. Anyway, so going up that way, about another five more blocks is my home, Mikasa. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna, let me see. It is 4.17 in the afternoon. I'm gonna go to Starbucks, upload this video, and I shall talk to you beautiful people in the morning, okay? All right, my friends, you have a fantastic and beautiful Saturday afternoon and evening. I love you all. Take care. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Etc. Etc. My time's gonna run out. Bye.